room elements are computing the area based on the room bounding perimeter walls. So as we learned earlier, a wall is designated as room bounding. Meaning to say, if I create a wall, WA, let's say for a nice simple storage space here, I'll just add the wall here. there and let's say I'll add a door there okay so what you now have is actually a separate room for the storage space so the computation for the lunch room now is only based on this area if you want this area the storage space to be computed as part of the lunch room you now need to select this wall and designate it, designate it as non-room bounding so that when you look at the computation for the room it now includes that storage area so what if you have here a small pipe chase so let's create a wall and I want to have here a small area, escape. So this will be the storage and this is a pipe chase. And let's say the pipe chase is going to be part of the utility areas computation. So what I need to do is I need to make this wall or this part of the wall room bounding. But then since it's one continuous wall, I now need to split it first into two okay so I can select this and there's a split element command here or SL is a shortcut and I can split this into two and since I have made them discontinuous I can now make this wall and this wall room bounding so let's see, I think this is room bounding, okay. And just need to do make or make this wall room bounding. And once I've done that, I can now see that the area computation for the lunch room is only the main area, the storage, and not including the pipe chase. Okay, this is non-room bounding, so it should be included in the computation. Now, let's just say you have here a wall separating the two rooms. So let's create another wall. So I'll just create a nice wall here at an angle. And what happens then to the area being occupied by that wall? If we look at the room space, room element for the general office area notice that it's actually excluding the area for that wall so again all you need to do is select that wall and uncheck room bounding now another thing about room bounding is that let's say from the second floor you have a patio space here and then a door going out well, a patio space or the railing that defines the perimeter of that patio space, it's not, it's not going to be included in your computation or you cannot add a room element and room tag to that area. So if I want to, let's just say, create a space there using just a simple railing, Let's say we have the floor here, so we can adjust that, but I'll just say add a railing here from here to here to there, and from here to there. Okay. That particular area 
okay, cannot be tagged properly because there's no room bounding area. So if you want to add a room bound room element here and a tag, you need to instead of a railing or with a railing, add a room separator. We'll add a room separator here. We'll just say pick lines. Maybe I'll pick that, pick this, and pick that. Now, if I do that, I can now go back to my room, and this can now be defined as a room. And since it's quite small, I can rename that to patio. Okay, hit escape, select the tag, turn on leader line, and maybe move this outside and name it patio.